Hi guys, today, I will show you a way to arrange and categorize all of your Unreal Engine assets using connector application. I will show you what I mean. Here is my connector application and this is the count of my assets including static meshes, blueprints, even whole levels. Say I want to make a sci-fi tunnel. I have an open third-person project in the background and I will open connector app. I will begin searching for walls for the tunnel. I think this one is okay. Next I want to search for ceilings. This one is perfect. Next. I want a suitable floor block. Then I go to my open project. All the assets that were highlighted are now loaded in the project. I only drag and drop the assets in the editor to make my sci-fi tunnel. This is a brief introduction to show what connector can do to save you work and time. As we now have designed a tunnel in less than one minute. I will walk you guys through a complete guide workflow to organize your assets using connector to make it easier for later usage. First step is to download and install connector app. Go to www.designconnected.com, I will provide the download website in the description below. The best thing is that the app is free to download. Second step is to make an Unreal Engine project that I usually name assets to connector. Third step is to open connector app and install the Unreal plugin under integration menu, and this plugin depends on your Unreal Engine version installed. I am using Unreal Engine 4.27, so I will choose my version to automatically install the plugin. If there is any problem with the automatic installation, you can also do a manual installation. Next we activate the plugin in the Unreal Engine project if it is not activated already and restart the project if needed. Now we have finished all the required setup to use connector app and integration with Unreal Engine. We will choose a pack from my vault called Ancient Treasures by Decagon Studios, which is a permanent collection Unreal Engine sponsored content for January 2019. For short, a permanently free asset. Then we will add it to our project by clicking add to project button and we search for our project. The pack content will now appear in the content browser inside our project. On browsing our content we found one blueprint, two levels, 111 static mesh, one particle system. The next step is to open connector app in the background if not already opened. Then we right click on the blueprint asset and we notice a new option available at the end of the menu. Export to connector. After pressing export to connector, we specify the location of this asset in connector library. I always try to keep the same folder hierarchy as in the engine to minimize confusion on reinsertion in another project. Then we check the connector app. We will see that blueprint asset is there with the same name and thumbnail. Next we will do the same process to all of the other assets including the levels, static meshes, and particle system. We can add multiple assets at once but try not to add all of them the same time as it may take a lot of time and the program may crash. After exporting all the assets to connector, we can see here all our assets. Next step is to reuse them in a new project. We open our new Unreal Engine project in the background. Then we right-click the required asset or assets in connector and choose load an open UE project. This instantly migrate the assets and all its related textures materials, etc to the desired project without any annoying FBX import dialogues. And it will be located in the same folder hierarchy it was saved in. Alright guys, now I have given you the best way to manage and organize your asset library. I know.
It will be a lot of work to organize all of the Unreal Engine assets especially with the generosity of Epic Games for its monthly free content. But the result deserve the hard work. Especially if you are an environment designer or an indie developer like me. See you later in the next video. Goodbye.